Hey, I wanted to ask you about uh, the touchdown pass that you caught from Tua, uh, the, the one where he kind of jumped up, it was up by your face mask, I think it was on third down. Um, what, what, in, what impressed you about uh, Tua, what Tua did on that particular play? Um, he just put the ball in a, in a great place. It was a timing route, so he just put it there, put it where, you know, only I could get it, really. You know, he's uh, to a second in the National Football League in completion percentage. And I was wondering, how would you describe, and you've known this guy a long time, how would you describe to his accuracy? Um, he always, that always been like a, a talent of his since, you know, in college. So I think he's pretty accurate, and that just shows the, you know, the stats just show it. What reaction have you got from uh, the Waddle celebration? Say it again. What reaction have you got from the Waddle celebration? Yeah, I get like a whole bunch of like uh, messages and like mentions on Twitter and stuff and like stuff. It's been crazy. I know uh, Phillips and Wilkins said they were trying to get you to do it for a while, but you know what? What led you to finally say, "Hey, I'm, I'm gonna pull it out"? Um, I actually did it last week. Like, what's called because Christian always um like run on from uh for um field goal. So I always run on. He'd be like the first one, and we just start doing it. So. You spun the ball against the Panthers. You spiked it. Which one do you prefer before the waddle? Oh, uh, it don't even matter. It's just how I'm feeling at that moment, for real. Have you thought about working on different variations of the waddle? Nah. Nah, not at all. Have you studied any uh, penguin film? <laughs> People have been sending me, like, me doing it next to a penguin. And what's it called? I got some work to do, for sure. So how are you going to monetize this? You got merchandise or what's going on? Nah, it's really just um, just me, uh, Christian, and JP thing. We just just do it. We just have fun. I know, obviously, team winning comes first for you. But is there a statistical goal out there, be it 100 catches, 1,000 yards, something that would be meaningful to you just from a, meaningful to you from a personal standpoint? Um, not necessarily. Um. Not necessarily, to be honest. I'm just going to go out there and really try to handle business on the best I can. So I'm um, not trying to do too much. Just do what I'm asked and, you know, just play the game. And you get any nice texts from any other members of this receiver draft class, either your buddy Devontae or Jamar Chase? Anyone from this draft class send you a text after your big game Sunday? Uh, not nah, me and Smitty talk uh, regularly, but never just about football, to be honest. Jalen, Devontae Parker is back to practice. What would it do if he's out? Um, everybody knows Vontae, a, a great player, so it's just another weapon. Um, make our offense, you know, that much, you know, um, better, and just, you know, just bring some, some like vet, his vet style to the game. Jalen, what does Tua do to make yards after the catch possible for for you and your teammates? Uh, I think he hits hits you while you're on stride, so your your running uh, run after catch ability is on like on display. I think just, you know, where he puts the ball allows you to, you know, make a move and, and things like that. His ball placement is very, like, key. Jalen, yesterday we had Charles Burks talk about how you kind of help his defensive backs. Practicing against you helps them. And today, Nick Needham said the same thing. What's the reverse of that? How have those guys helped you kind of polish your game as a pro? Man, they helped me a lot, to be honest, because they all got different styles. Um, and that comes with it throughout the week, like the style change of corners and matchups and things like that. So. Um, X, Byron, Nick, all, all them guys just helped me a lot. I saw a statistic from Travis Winfield over there. He uh, he said that when you were running, they, they had a class, like a, they, they timed your miles per hour on the 50 plus yarder, and it was the fifth fastest run of the. That's right, right? Fifth? Yeah, next gen stats. Fifth fastest ball carrier of the year. Uh, does that surprise you? How fast did you feel while you were running that play? Oh, yeah. Like, to be honest, I didn't even feel like I was just, like, just scooting like that. Like, <laughs> to be honest, like, I ain't even, what's it called? So when I, um, when they told me, I was like, hey, I'm pretty good, pretty good. Um, you, you chose be the match for the, my, my cost, my cleats this week. Can you talk a little bit about it? Uh, yeah, I chose be the match, like, um, earlier, um, because, um, I, um, sickle cell, and um, what they do with that and their, you know, awareness they bring to the sickle cell, which uh, I got the sickle cell trait, so it was just something I felt like I should do. And I kind of found out late um, that I had it. I think I was in college when I had it, so I really think it's something that, you know, everybody needs to, you know, be aware of and really, like, get knowledge on that. Yeah.